Hi, in this screencast we're going to talk about setting paddings to your box. In the CSS box model, this is the first layer wrapping the content box. Okay, Setting padding to your box allows you to set the space between the content and the border layer, which gives you more uh, control over where your uh, content should be uh, on a web page. Okay, Let me show you what this looks like right now. Uh, let's open up the CSS folder and let's just first look at the what I mean by the first layer wrapping your content box. Okay, let's open this up in the browser and you can see here I have a box with a border okay with uh, some gibberish inside the box. I'm gonna hit F12 to launch Firebug. Okay, I'm gonna inspect this div element I'm going to go to layout and I'm going to show you what I mean by padding is the lit first layer. So I have a content box of 100 by 100, okay? Uh, that's 100 pixel by 100 pixel, okay? And then the first layer wrapping the content box is the padding, which is all zero right now. And we have a border of two pixels all around our, our um, box. Okay, so uh, this screencast talks about the padding, which is this layer. Okay, so let's close Firebug. Let's close, minimize Firefox, and let's open up this index.html with top style. And you can see here the source of the HTML page. Uh, this is where the div is without any class assigned to it. Okay, uh, this is the line of gibberish. And with uh, all divs inside this page, I've set a style for the border to have a solid black two pixel border, okay, with a width of 100 pixels. Okay, and I set up two classes one's individual sides and one is all sides. Okay, let's look at the individual sides first. Uh, so you want to set up padding to individual sides, you can do this. Padding dash the side you want to decorate, colon, and then the setting, the number uh, one pixel, or you can start from zero and go up. And uh, also you can do percentage too. Okay, so you can do padding top, right, bottom, left, like that individually. So. You see here that I have one pixel uh, padded to the top, one pixel to the right, five pixels to the bottom, 20 pixels to the left. Okay, and let's assign this class. Let me just type it in. Okay, let's assign this class to this div and see what we get. Bring back Firefox, refresh. So you see that my con uh, this box has some paddings inside. So it actually looks more visual, okay? Because from before, you'll see that the text was touching the border and it's kind of hard to read, okay? So if you give it more padding, uh, it looks uh, more spacious, okay, the content. So let's minimize it bring back top style and uh, let's just uh, play around with it real quick let's make the padding top uh, 15 pixels save it minimize it bring back Firefox and watch the top padding if I refresh it's gonna get more padding okay so that's padding and uh, let's go back to top style. All right, so let's look at all sides. Uh, this all sides class uh, allows you to set one value to all four sides, okay, by just doing padding, colon, and the number, okay? And this seven pixels you see here would be applied to all four sides, okay? Let's just take a look. Save it, minimize it, bring back Firefox, refresh. 
So this is equally f uh, seven pixels in all four sides. Okay, and you can also do this if you want to assign different values to each side, but you also want to do just a one line command, you can do this. Space it, 10 pixel, oops, 5 pixel, and then 8 pixel, like that. So 7 pixel goes to the top, it's the same thing starting from the top clockwise. So 7 pixels to the top, 10 pixels to the right, 5 pixels to the bottom, 8 pixels to the left. Okay, And uh, you can also do something like this. This will give you, uh, this is the top and bottom, this is the left and right. So if you just do the two values, uh, these, this value would get assigned to the top bottom. Okay, And the 10 pixels would be assigned to the left and right. Sometimes this is useful. Okay, let's save it. Uh, let's just say we want zero to the left and right, and some paddings to the top and bottom. Let's see what this looks like. Refresh. So you see that because the text is a line left, so you see some padding uh, to the right, but because the word's too long to wrap, uh, to be touching to be fitted here. So that's why I wrapped. And that's why you see some paddings here. But actually there are no paddings like this to the left. Okay. And uh, top and bottom has seven pixels padding. Okay. So that's it for padding. Thank you.